Well, we're here today with Casey getting ready to dig out this patio for Bill. He's going to put a footer all the way around his patio. Boy, it's got an incredible layout he's got going here. And uh, I've got a picture of it. I'll put that in this video. Maybe we'll stop here and talk to Bill and see really where he wants to dig. If uh, we're going to be on video, I want to clarify, I'm no expert. So anything could happen today. <laughs> well, none of us are experts. We usually figure out how to make it work out fine. So your, these yellow uh, strings are essentially the this boundary is, of the deck. I'm going to try and square this up to the house. I'm going to leave this open here. This is kind of going to be a walkway in. Oh, so okay. We're going to start on the inside of this line and go all the way around. However, it is going to bow out. So we'll, we'll have to dig kind of in a, in a high yeah, tour. Yeah, okay. Um, so you're sides. not going to have a footer on the front here? No, no, there's no need for it in here, inside here because there's going to be no knee wall. This is just going to be knee wall that goes in the okay. fireplace and everything. And so that goes around the border. So what we're digging a, a footer for is a knee wall all the way around it. Right. That makes sense. Okay. Grill, fireplace, all, all heavy masonry going in. You know, and this being a new house, you know, this, this dirt is very soft back here. So we have, well, to, we have to dig to make sure it doesn't fall over. Okay. And also, where I cut this wood deck out here, I'm going to need you know, I want to dig out out of here too because we're going to do a stairway coming down. We need to get those posts out though. Yes, that's a yes. I thought I'd use your assistance for that because I tried to dig on this one. <laughs> Still didn't get this guy out. No, it feels like it, it could come out, but I didn't want to I wake up in the morning with a slip disc in my back. Yeah. You're about six inches. Yeah. And I can hand dig, so. Put your blade down, Tim. Tim, think. You sure wouldn't bounce around as much if you just put that blade down. So Bill called before you dig the 811 and all the electrical and gas and stuff like that are on this side of the house, not where we're going to be digging the footers for his patio. The only issue is his sump pump drain comes out the back. Um, and he doesn't really know exactly which direction it goes. There's the white pipes from it, and he knows it goes out back of the house somewhere here, but he doesn't know um, which direction it goes off to. So we may find it today, but let's hope that if we do find it, we don't break it or crack it and can avoid it. Probably better get the idiot stick down here pretty soon. You won't say anything until we're down an inch or two, so. Looks like we're still a good bit high, doesn't it? Well, you're a little, then you're, you're a little deep. You need any more off the back of that? I mean, whatever you feel comfortable with. I mean, it's better safe than sorry to hand dig, so. Yeah. Casey, you're not welcome in the basement. Let's see, is that wide enough? You know what? That is wide enough. I mean, you probably clean out. It looks like it's tapering in a little bit over here, but it's, it's like at 26, and I think I needed 25. lines and I think we're going to be shooting at the hip a little bit on this. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're you're good there, so. Well, we ran into one little snag. We did hit the sump pump drain pipe and on the weird side of the house. So it's down in uh, the footer that he was digging first thing here. The sump pump actually drains from all the way over there. So we had no idea that the drain pipe would be on this side of the, the house. Oh well, seems like a long way to run a drain pipe. He said the other part of it runs out there somewhere. So it seemed like they would have gone straight out, but they didn't. This is actually our second visit to Bill's house. We were here probably, I don't know, six or eight weeks ago, and we knocked down this initial dirt. He thought he needed extra dirt, so he had all this fill dirt delivered, and it was huge clods. You can see that in our previous video. We have a link to that here in the description and a card on this and everything. But that was kind of a precursor to his patio. So we purchased the laser level um, yesterday. It's an RLH4C top con. Right now it's working really well. So we're able to tell if we're down far enough. It comes with the, the level itself here that you see. The tripod was extra. And then we have a measuring rod for it. Our measuring rod is in inches. Um, you can get a measuring rod that's in um, tenths. But it came with one sensor, and then you can buy other sensors for it to um, set up multiple sensors around your site. We'll put a link in the description for the laser level. Here's the stick. So this is this is a huge help. Right there is pretty neat. We're very happy with it so far. It's it's very simple. Um, no screen and menu system that you have to go through or anything like that. Just real easy to use. You know, I think that, I don't think it's going to be tough, because I think what's, what I'm going to do is make the form, then drop it in there, and I'll make it both lengths. And then from there, okay. you know, I'll start to, to form it off. So these ends will kind of be my, what I'm going to build off of. And once, sure. the, once those are straight, then, but we'll see. Hey, this would have been too big a job for Johnny. Yeah. Our very first job with Casey and and he was a good one for this one because this is just too big a job for Johnny. Uh, it's close to five foot deep out here the way we're choosing to do it. The way he's going to do the grade on the downside, it'll still it'll be three foot when it's all done, but for now it's digging five foot deep. That and they're really big areas. So this hole you can see right here, it's a big hole. And it, I don't think Johnny's little uh, arm could have reached that far. Casey's great. He probably just hurt Johnny's feelings. But we won't tell Johnny. Hey, we still need Johnny. Look at all these piles of dirt. Casey's not going to work very well with that. That's true. So uh, Casey does really well at what he's suited to do. But we still need Johnny.
this stage you'll see that Casey's on a slope. Now, this made it really hard for me to dig a vertical trench. In fact, it made it impossible. Now, I hope maybe you can learn from my mistake or my inexperience here. If I had this to do over, I would have piled some dirt there so that I could have been level. Now, after all, we have plenty of dirt to work with, right? My uh, car up back. down in the hole and you can tell it's five foot. I'm just a little over five foot. You might ask why are we digging five foot deep and actually that's probably a good question here. We really don't need to go five foot deep but it did slope off this direction and Bill wanted to make sure that we were three foot deep at the, at the worst part of the slope. So that resulted in us digging you know close to five foot deep in some areas. Besides, I like to dig, so deeper's better, right? Wow, our very first Casey project. And we get to show off one of Casey's coolest features. Check it out here, how we're able to dig right beside the house. This thing's got what's called a zero tail swing. Notice I can swing the tail all the way around it. The other thing I can do is offset the boom so that it can dig right next to the house. See how the boom is twisted from the, the body of the unit? That allows us to dig just exactly parallel with the edge of the house. We still love you, Johnny, but you know how it is. Each of your kids has unique gifts and talents. This project really needed the flexibility that Casey provides as far as putting the dirt a long way from where you're digging. Well, Bill, we've uh, dug some holes for you. Hey, you did, did did a very nice job. Thank you. A lot of dirt. Yeah, it is a lot of dirt. If I had to do it over again, obviously I would have not brought dirt in. So, But I think that there's going to be a home for a lot of it. we got room to get a tractor in here. Yeah. So if we need to take some of that out and everything, we can do that. We can help you fill them back in as, as time goes. But, uh, hey, this has been a, well, it's almost all-day project. Yeah. It's going to be an all-winter project for you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everybody viewers for joining us and we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. Oh yeah, I have on for those women out there who have tried coveralls and they're all men's sizes and they just don't fit you very well, I have what's called body covers and I'll try to put a link in the description if they're still around. I've had mine several years but they're made for women and they're keeping me warm.